we want to change this decimal into a fraction in lowest terms. Okay. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we have to first understand what our decimal points are. That's what place, the places all mean here. The first one, this would be the uh, ones, ones digit we have right there. This next one, this would be tenths. And the one on the end would be hundredths. So what I would say for this decimal is I would say this is going to be 24 one hundredths. Okay. So 24 one hundredths means that that's the same thing as 24 over a hundred. Now, if I had three decimal places, that would be thousands. So I would have whatever that decimal is over a thousand and so forth. So that's how you would do these kind of questions. We have to know each one. Uh, and so the ones digit is a zero. So there's no ones. It's just a decimal here in this case. So tenths would be the first number after the decimal and hundredths would be the second number after the decimal. So we have 24 over hundred, but now we wanted to reduce this in lowest terms. We want to find the largest number that divides into 24 and hundred. So if you're not sure what that is, just by looking at it, we can always write out the factors of each one. So for 24, we have one goes in there evenly, two, three, we have four, a six goes in there evenly, an eight, a 12, and 24. Then we have 100, and we want to look at the factors of that. One in there, we have two. Three doesn't go in there, we have a four. A five goes in there for sure. Six doesn't, seven, no. Eight, no. We have a nine. Ten goes in there evenly. Okay, and then we keep on going with that. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 20 would be the next one. Doesn't 100 doesn't divide by any teens, any of those. All right. Uh, and then we have 25 divides in there evenly. Okay, and then we have 50. And then we have 100. Find the largest number that's here. So the largest number that you would see uh, from this list is going to be a 4 which means that we can divide each of these by a four. So 24 divided by four is six. Uh, and let's write this, we'll write this out here this way instead. And then we're gonna do 100 divided by four. 24 divided by four is six. 100 divided by four is 25. Nothing else uh, divides into those. So that means that would be the fraction written in lowest terms. That means if I were to put six divided by 25 on my calculator, I would get 0.24 as the answer. So we just changed the decimal into a fraction. Let's do another one of those. Okay. We will have, well, write the following decimal as a fraction or mixed number of lowest terms, 0.35. So again, there's two numbers. After that, two numbers means that that would be the hundredths. So I have 35 over. 100, 35 over 100, okay? So now I wanna write this in lowest terms. Okay, 35, the factors would be one, uh, and just it would just be one, five, seven, and 35. That's really it. There's not anything else that will really work here for that, so that's the only factors. For 100, we have the same list that we had before. So we have one, two, four, five, we have 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100. Find the uh, largest one. Well, the largest one's just gonna be a five. Again, you don't have to necessarily write this whole list out every single time. If you can just look at that and already know it's five already, then by all means, go ahead and do that, okay? So 35 over 100 is the same thing as 35 divided by five and 100 divided by five, which is equal to seven, 20th. Okay, so 7 20th then would be the answer. So if you take 7 divided by 20, you can always check your answer by taking 7 divided by 20, you should get 0.35 as the answer.